You know, I thought we already did the Trixie Goes Mad with Power thing. <laughs> and dear Starlight, so close to using what appears to be dark magic. What spell is it going to be? I need to know these things. At any rate, I think Trixie really is missing the point when she thinks pretzels are going to be better than something you actually made by, in this case, Hoof. So, um, well, you know, n noting that this episode is called Bottled Up, fortunately I don't have any spoilers. I resisted reading the synopsis this time. Hey, Gold Star! <laughs> kind of a coin flip, that one. I'm going to guess she has to deal with her anger issues or something. Eh, whatever. Let's find out. We're not going to with me just talking. I got, got to stop this, put my glasses on. I mess up the order of operations. <laughs> well, apparently even people in verse notice that everybody sings at the drop of a hat here. And of course, Trixie has to, you know, provoke fate by saying that they're going to have more fun. Unless this is some sort of A-B plot, which I doubt seems as this was technically part of the two-parter open. Uh, <laughs> Though on the bright side, it is so great to see Trixie and Twilight not at each other's throats. It's almost as though the various episodes they've been in they've gotten used to each other, you know, by now that maybe they've buried the hatchet, you know. Season 3 was a thing, and I'm, I'm going to continue watching the episode now. I, of course, had not considered the possibility that the episode itself would be an A-B plot. Oh, dear, no one's going to have fun. And Trixie, no, practice on something inanimate, jerk. You know, this really does bring up a good question. How powerful is Trixie, or how easy is transmorphication? Because that's a lot of teacups, and they all look suspiciously like the ones Trixie made. Does this mean I can have a gold factory just with equestrian magic? I mean, I'll crash the markets and the price of gold will plummet, but dang it, I'm going to live like a king. I'm sorry, everybody, you're just going to have to suffer the economic fallout. Well, there's probably some deep analytical thing I could say about the dark magic escaping the bottle and infecting people, but who cares? I want to see Granny Smith lay down a beatdown! Come on, Granny! Whoop that fella! Whoop that Philly! Whoop that Philly! Uh, I mean, learn to deal with your anger, kids. Why did she have to be right about the song? Whatever. I don't know, this time I didn't even bother listening to it. Usually I give a song at least one shot, but I just couldn't this time. It sounded like their usual fare anyway. So it's an interesting observation that the B plot, that the uh, aren't at each other's throats. I would have thought they were going to be at each other's throats. If they keep going this route, kudos to the writer for having the guts to not make them a madhouse. See children, you shouldn't sing about friendship. It may cost you competitions. Now I wonder if everything's going to fall apart. <laughs> Snowflake, a true renaissance man. What? I wear many hats. <laughs> ah. Quite possibly his best moment off the top of my head. Sweet Celestia. That scene was filled with too much sediment and affection. Now you've done it, DHX. I hear them already. They're coming. The shippers. We're all gonna be shipped. 
without our consent, without consideration for our feelings, without respect for our prior relationship statuses, whether romantic or otherwise, or even our sexual orientations. Run, dear viewer, run! It's too late for me. I'm too lazy to get out of this chair. There's no way I'll be able to find it within me to stand up and run in time. Go! No! 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 Hey, Harry. Looking sexy. Why don't you show me that mark? <laughs> Harry Potter is owned by J.K. Rowling. Lies, all lies. There's no way you've learned not to sing a song. That is a bold-faced lie, Miss Pie. <clears throat> and of course, you gotta love tricks with that line. If we learned that lesson, how would we ever have any fun? <laughs> Alright. I'm not in love with the episode, but it is a good... I, I liked it. I think it's solid. Now, when I'm just waiting to read other people's reviews and then find out it's a horrible episode that has many plot holes or whatever oh well i enjoyed watching it if nothing else 